Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas day four. As you guys can see by the title of today's video, I am bringing you my highly requested hair care routine as well as what I do and recommend for hair growth. My hair is looking absolutely crazy right now. I haven't washed it in I don't know how long. I shower every day, two times a day, but I wash my hair probably once a week. And I think that that is definitely one of the main reasons why my hair grows so fast, aside from the fact that I never put heat on it. I don't blow dry my hair. I don't straighten it. I don't use the Dyson. I don't curl it. I don't do anything. And if I do, it's on special occasions for an event. But even then, I still don't put heat on my hair. Like in the last year alone, I've put heat on my hair three times and I don't plan on putting heat on my hair for the rest of the year. So in 12 months, I only put heat three times, which is kind of crazy. I feel like nowadays people put heat on their hair every single day, but I personally love my hair up in a ponytail or a bun. As you guys probably know, if you watch me or have seen me anywhere before, my hair is 99% always up. I don't know, it's just the easiest that way because once I do it, I'm done with it for the day and I don't have to worry about it. I feel like when I get my hair done or have it blown out, I'm constantly running my fingers through it and touching it and it just gets so gross so fast and I don't know, it's just way more work than just throwing my hair up in a ponytail or a bun and calling it a day. But yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see how I style my hair, how I do my slick buns and slick ponies because I've definitely been asked quite a bit about that but over on my TikTok so let me know if you guys would like to see that on here and I will be sure to feature it in one of these vlogmas videos but obviously with having my hair up all the time there are definitely some cons like I feel like my hair is not as thick and full in these areas over here. So I've been recently doing hair oiling and massaging to try to stimulate hair growth in these areas. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys today how I do that. And also it's hair wash day. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use in the shower and kind of just how I treat my hair on days like today when it is getting fully cleaned and just freshened up. Don't mind my crazy hair right now, but these are the three oils that I will be using. This one is grapeseed oil, this one is jojoba oil, and this one is rosemary. They are all linked on my storefront. I will leave it linked down below for you guys in case you want to try it out for yourself. This will be my first time using this one, but I have used these ones before, and already from the few times that I have used them, I have seen quite a difference, and I can't wait to see the difference in a few months from now after using them more consistently. And then I have a brush like so to just massage all of the product into my scalp and I've read that you're not supposed to sleep in these oils so what I'll typically do is put them in and then put my hair up in a bun like so and do some chores whether it's cleaning or doing my laundry or organizing or even some work stuff on my computer to help time pass by and I'll leave it in for about an hour and a half to two hours and then wash it out like normal with my products in the shower and then my hair feels and looks so smooth so silky and just so amazing so I don't know why I keep putting my hair up because obviously we're using these right now so let's get to doing this together right here right now start by taking droplets and just running them through my scalp like so and while I'm still on this side I will now take the jojoba oil I don't know if I'm saying that right but I just kind of do the same thing with all three of these so now that I look so crazy I'm gonna take the rosemary oil and distribute it throughout my scalp like so this feels so weird and it like drips down my whole face <laughs> and then of course down the scalp here and then next taking this massaging type of brush to really just mix it all and help stimulate that hair growth and I like to do this in circular motions I don't know why but it helps to not let the hair knot it's literally dripping all down my face and now for the grapeseed oil I'm gonna take a little bit in my hand I lather the grapeseed oil in my hands like that since it doesn't have a dropper application like the other two as long as it gets in there I feel like that's all that matters okay so I just loosely tied up the top half of my hair so I can now move on to the rest starting off with the rosemary oil like before and next going in with the jojoba oil and then taking the grapeseed oil again and then lathering it throughout. 
and just working it all in like so. And just like that, my hair is all oiled and ready to sit for about an hour. I have no idea what I'm gonna do to pass this time. Hey you guys, so I'm now in bed. As you can see, I just finished showering and washing out all of the oils and putting in some more products, of course. But I do want to share the products that I used with you because obviously that's what this whole video is about. So for shampoo, I have been using the Way Detox Shampoo. It makes my hair feel so squeaky clean and just smell so amazing. And then for conditioner, I use the Be Chic Hydrating Hair Mask. Like I said, I only wash my hair once a week. So I like to give it some extra hydration by using a hair mask when I do wash it and I let it sit in for about five minutes and then comb it through in the shower with a wide tooth comb and that is one of my favorite things to do since when I get out of the shower I don't have to brush it at all and I really believe that a lot of breakage split ends and damage is caused when you brush your hair when it's wet with a regular paddle brush correct me if I'm wrong but I personally have seen such an amazing difference with my hair ever since I stopped brushing it while it's wet but yeah and then once I get out of the shower I use the affair oil and it smells so amazing it makes my hair feel so silky smooth and i have really been loving it and lastly i use the way spray leave-in conditioner which also smells so amazing my hair right now smells to die for like i literally want to eat it and it feels so soft so silky and just amazing that's it for my hair care routine i really hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned a thing or two i will leave all the products i use in the description below in case you guys are interested in shopping them and trying them out for yourselves but let me know if you guys do and also let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i will be sure to answer them it's bedtime for me i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day five but until then have an amazing day and i love you so much Mwah.